Good evening and welcome. For the record, this public hearing is being conducted by the Florida Department of Transportation. It is being held at the City of Rockledge Council Chambers at 5.30 p.m. on January 23, 2020, and is for the proposed improvements to State Road 519, or Fisk Boulevard, at the Interstate 95 interchange, from south of Prosperity Place to north of Barnes Boulevard in Brevard County. The financial project number is 439-123-1. This public hearing is conducted in accordance with Chapter 23, United States Code 128, Title 40, Code of Federal Regulations, Parts 1500 through 1508, Section 339.155, Florida Statutes, and pursuant to Florida Statute 355.199, the Florida Department of Transportation is conducting this public hearing concerning access management changes to State Road 519. This hearing is being held to afford persons the opportunity to express their views relative to the proposed improvements. This hearing is being held in accordance with Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and Title VIII of the Civil Rights Act of 1968 as amended. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by phone at 386-943-5367 or via email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us or by contacting Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by phone at 850-414-4753 or via email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. Forms are available for you in English, Spanish, and Haitian Creole with both the local and state Title VI coordinator contact information. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. As you have probably seen, FDOT staff and design team members are here to discuss your concerns and answer your questions. Team members can be distinguished by their name tags. There are also graphics on display for your review. Please feel free to discuss any project issues you have with the design team. Your input is very important to us. When you arrived this evening, you were offered a newsletter handout containing information about the project and proposed improvements. If you did not receive a newsletter, you can pick one up at the sign-in table during the upcoming intermission. This presentation provides a broad overview of issues the Florida Department of Transportation will be addressing during the design phase of the project and information on the proposed improvements. The project is located along State Road 519 from south of Prosperity Place to north of Barnes Boulevard in Brevard County and includes the interchange with Interstate 95. The purpose of the project is to provide operational and safety improvements to the State Road 519 Interstate 95 interchange. Dual left-hand lanes will be added at the on and off ramps. The northbound U-turn movement at the intersection of State Road 519 and southbound Interstate 95 exit entrance will be removed. The free-flowing right turn movements onto Interstate 95 will be adjusted to be under signalized control. The road will be resurfaced and pedestrian and bicycle facilities will be added to the road and bridge. The proposed improvements retain the existing two travel lanes in each direction. Pedestrian and bicycle facilities will be added to each side of the roadway. The existing bridge will be modified on either side to accommodate pedestrian and bicycle facilities. The existing condition includes single turn lanes at the on and off ramps to the interstate. Dual left turns will be provided at these locations. Currently, there is a northbound U-turn movement at the intersection of State Road 519 and the southbound Interstate 95 exit entrance ramp. This U-turn feature will be removed 
to accommodate the operational and safety improvements of the project. Modifications will be made to the existing ponds. These modifications will provide water quality treatment and meet permitting criteria for the improvements. Permitting agencies include the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the St. Johns River Water Management District. Extensive data gathering activities such as surveying, soil testing, wetland assessments, and investigations of protected wildlife have been completed. We are currently in the design phase of the project. We are finalizing the design of the roadway features, identifying stormwater treatment and permitting needs, and determining environmental impacts due to the proposed improvements. The design phase of this project is scheduled for completion in late 2020, and construction is expected to begin in spring 2021. No additional right-of-way is needed for this project. The Florida Department of Transportation recognizes that the success of any transportation improvement is dependent upon a successful public outreach effort. A public engagement plan was developed to establish and maintain a strategy for public and stakeholder involvement in the design project. Public notification and project updates are provided through the project newsletter, public notices, a news release, and project website. This public hearing is being held to connect with stakeholders and obtain input regarding the proposed improvements. Public comments for this project will be documented in the public involvement record for this project. In a few minutes, you will have the opportunity to step to the microphone and offer verbal comments about the proposed improvements to State Road 519 and the Interstate 95 interchange. You may also provide your comments directly to the court reporter anytime here this evening. Your comments will become part of the official public hearing transcript. You may also complete a comment form this evening and drop it in the box provided, or if you prefer, you may mail us your comments. The mailing address is provided on the comment form. You may also provide your comments electronically. The email address is provided on the comment form, or you may visit the project website and submit your comments there through an email to the project manager. All exhibits or statements postmarked on or before Monday, February 3rd, 2020, will become part of the public hearing record. To visit the project website, browse to www.cflroads.com. Enter 439-123-1 into the search box. Select the result SR 519 Fisk Boulevard at I-95. Here you can view project-related documents and project contact information. If you would like more information about the project, please contact Megan Owens, FDOT Project Manager. Thank you for your interest and participation in this project. We encourage you to review the plans and documents on display during the upcoming intermission. If you would like to speak during the public testimony portion of tonight's hearing, please fill out a speaker card. Our moderator will provide you with more information.